Hi, my name is Gerard Andrews, Product Marketing Director at Cadence. Today I'll be talking to you about smart speakers and some of the DSP processing that goes on inside of those. The first thing I'd like to talk about is far field processing. And far field processing usually involves multiple mics. In today's systems, this can be between two and seven microphones being used. And uh, a competitive smart speaker must work from up to a 10 meter uh, distance, meaning the speaker itself and the person that's engaging with the speaker can have up to a 10 meter distance. There are a lot of processing techniques going on inside of the far field processing. Some of them include DSP processing techniques like acoustic echo cancellation, stereo echo cancellation, and then beam forming. All of these techniques are used to try to increase the speech recognition results uh, that the user is going to have when interacting with the speaker. As you can imagine, the more microphones that are used in a system, the more complicated the DSP uh, processing is. Uh, the second part of the, the system is the voice recognition itself. Uh, and the voice recognition actually comes in two parts. First is the keyword detection. Uh, if you have an Amazon Alexa at home, we all know that keyword uh, Alexa, which turns the device on so that uh, uh, you can listen for what command must be followed next. These other commands can be run um, recognized locally or in the cloud. Uh, in either case, uh, neural network processing is being leveraged in today's speech recognition engines. And if this is done locally, like if you issue a command, open my garage, then a strong neural network processing capability must exist locally on the device. Uh, and finally, this category is called smart speaker, so you must play back audio. And so this involves audio codecs and audio post-processing. Some of the DSP audio post-processing include things like speaker equalization, uh, room equalization, and bass management. When you look at all of this uh, DSP processing from echo cancelers, beam forming, neural network processing, speaker equalization, and bass management, it makes a strong case for a device manufacturer entering the smart speaker market to include a robust DSP that is capable of handling audio and voice. Uh, from Cadence, we have two DSPs that we are targeting at this application space, the Hi-Fi 3 DSP and the Hi-Fi 4 DSP. And uh, we have a lot of uh, good market traction there, and it's primarily driven for their versatility in implementing all of these DSP functions. Again, my name is Gerard Andrews, and I'd like to say thank you for watching, and check back in later for more videos.